when our team started working together, we knew it was going to be a 12 tilt 6. Right. Right. But then the rest was like this total collaboration. Yeah, I mean, the idea was like, you know, you've got all the props in space. Now, how do you design the fuse and the wing for it to be elegant? You really can't look at any one thing in isolation, yeah. which is like the, the beauty and challenge of airplanes is that everything is just so connected. You know, we had to make sure that all of the like lateral area on the fuselage here was offset by having, you know, a tail that gave the stability that we need. And, and then obviously the tail could take like many different shapes. What's really cool about the V-tail is that when you look at it from the rear, you know, you have a sense of um, holistic design where we had like the dihedral of the wing, you had the landing gear, and then the V kind of all coming together into this one point that ideally is the CG. When you look at it from the rear, I mean, it has like such presence and confidence that it's gonna land again with a lot of like stability. I mean, this was probably the most difficult part on the aircraft. The landing gear is tough. Is the main gear wheels are decently large because the aircraft has to be able to do the conventional takeoff and landing. Yeah. You know, you got to fare all that in. Like if we didn't have the fairing around the wheel or the landing gear, um, you know, structure, the drag penalty would be insane. It's like super unique. I, I can't think of another airplane that looks like this. And the nose gear too is pretty unique. It looks great and simple, but it was, it was tough. We did a lot of like kind of whiteboard session, which was like trying to solve big problems, yet integrating kind of like good design and good performance. The whole thing has to stroke kind of up and down, yeah. and at the same time, you know, it has to rotate. So how, how do you come up with like a fairing concept that allows you to do both? Mm -hmm. um, but it's pretty cool the way we're defining kind of the split here, yet it's all kind of coming together organically. Mm -hmm. Another thing we learned on Maker, right, was the floor height. It's really critical. Stepping height, yeah. And the floor height worked out pretty good with the 17 inches. Exactly. Like that, as yeah. far as this, this step height. And Absolutely. Which is in order for you to really come in and out and being hand-free. Yeah. You know, this was like the core requirement, which, you know, we achieved, which is, which is pretty cool. Yeah. We wanted the plane to feel organic. And then yet when we looked at current plane, even big kind of commercial plane, you know, they're very mathematical, very extreme, very parametric. And then we needed like a, a reason why we want to go more fluid. And by studying with your team, all the three dynamics with the aero team, you know, it's actually very organic. No aircraft got very strong identity. It was part of the brief, like, how do you make the aircraft look recognizable but speaks to its function? When you look at the nose execution, was an opportunity to give it more identity. So for us, you know, we went for that, like, vertical strike. You know, very simple, obviously speaks to the verticality. I felt like main landing gears, you know, tail design, like, the whole front node identity, all of that, we took the thousands of requirements and we embedded into this incubation of, you know, of problem solving. From the engineering perspective, there was always like an easy solution, like, oh, why don't we just give up and just go right. with the thing that we know is gonna work? Right. And right, like, right. yeah, it doesn't look different or new or no, but like, we know it works. Right. And so I think there was like a good, healthy kind of tension and pressure right. to like, right. no, like see what you can do customers, when they look at this, they can tell like, oh, this is not like every other right. aircraft I've ever right. been on. And it's going to do stuff that's different than right. other aircraft they've yeah. been on. Yeah, the whole ecosystem, you know, this is just the beginning. Enabling freedom of movement with almost no friction, you know, in around the cities. I mean, like as a kind of designer of transport, it doesn't get any better.